All right, guys, on today's video, we are back on the PlayStation 2. Today, I'm going to show you how you set up RetroArch. Uh, so RetroArch is a multi-platform um, emulator that's going to allow you to run a whole bunch of different cores or different systems. I'm going to be leaving you a link to the RetroArch.com website. So just scroll down on the list until you find uh, PS2 and there's a download. Um, it's going to come in a .zip format. You're going to have to unzip it using WinRAR or 7-zip. I'm also going to be leaving you a link to my page where I post all my download links. So just scroll down on my page where you find the RetroArch wallpaper and there's a download link right there. Uh, so for this, you're going to need a free McBoot memory card and you're going to need to have ULaunch ELF. Um, your USB and HD must be formatted in FAT32 and then just create a ROMs folder on the root of your uh, USB device. So now this is the uh, download folder. So you're going to have the RetroArch. It's going to have all the cores. And then it's going to have the emulator itself, raboot.elf. And then you're going to create a ROMs folder with all your systems. And then inside those folders, you're going to place all your ROMs. So that's basically it for setting up your USB or HD. Now we're going to get on the PlayStation 2 and um, I'll show you how to set everything up. All right, so now on the PlayStation 2, um, insert your USB device and your free McBoot memory card. Uh, power on your PS2. So first we're going to launch ULaunch ELF to go into the file browser. So press X. Now you're going to hit circle for the file browser. Go down to your mass. Now find your RetroArch folder. So you're going to go down to the reboot.elf. We're going to load up RetroArch. After the initial boot, uh, we're going to back out again. So it can create uh, necessary folders on your USB. So just quit RetroArch. Now when you plug in your USB device into your computer, um, it's set up uh, some files. Now we're going to load ULaunch off again. So file browser, go down to the mass folder. We're going to go down to the RetroArch folder once again. I'm going to show you all the folders that it's created. So you go into the RetroArch folder and here's all the files that's created, all the save files with some thumbnails, and then you can create your own BIOS file and then just transfer all the BIOS files necessary for certain systems onto that folder. Uh, now we're going to load up um, RetroArch again. So reboot.elf. We're going to load up a few cores. So go down to load core. Now go down to Nintendo. Um, SNES. 
SMC, so SNES 9X, and we're going to load up a Super Nintendo game. So now the core is loaded, go to load content, go down to your mass, now find your ROMs folder, which I created a folder called uh, RetroArch Test ROMs, circle, go down to SNES, and then Super Mario All-Stars, and it should load the game right away. So now if you want to back out to the main menu of RetroArch, you just hold down the start button. The screen will come up, just go close content. Now it'll take you back to the main menu. And we're gonna load up a NES core. So load core. Go down to Nintendo Famicom. F-C-E-U-M-M, -M, circle, and that should load up the core. So this is basically going to be the same method for every system. Now go down to load content, go to mass for your ROMs, ROMs folder, go to the NES folder, and then baseballstars.nes and then pick the first one there's a couple of cores you can pick from but pick the first one and it should load up the game now we're going to back out to the main menu so hold the start button Close content, and now it should take you back to the main menu of RetroArch. So there you go. That's how you set up uh, RetroArch for the PlayStation 2. I will leave both links in the uh, pinned comment for the download and my page. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.